is mentalization. And this is more about understanding someone else's emotional intent. Um, a good example of a breakdown in mentalization is, let's say you're in the car and you're driving along. Someone else in the car has got the map and they're giving you directions. It's, it's frustrating driving for so long and uh, they give you a wrong direction. And there's busy traffic and there's honking horns and it really gets into your brain. And in that moment when you both figure out that the directions have been wrong, you could potentially snap at that person. You know, with all the frustration, everything going on around you has been displaced on them. And you mentally know that they didn't mean to give you the wrong direction. Why would they? But in that moment, in that chaos, your brain doesn't always think about the other person's intention. So you may just react, uh, and you can react as if they meant you harm. And so that would be like a breakdown of that mentalization. It'd be a breakdown of your ability to kind of understand someone else's emotional intent and how they relate to you, how they feel about you, their intentions towards you. And again, I would argue that there is a big environmental impact to that. In fact, if you've had a lot of adverse childhood conditions, you might expect people to react negatively towards you. And even when you're around people that you, you have more trust for, or are more honest with you, and you might still have difficulty holding on to the idea that people have positive intentions towards you, that other people aren't out to screw you over in some way. 